Hello everybody, it's your good friend Andrew here. Um, I just thought I'd show you how to tie one of my favorite flies. This is a uh, seducer type flag, uh, tied with craft fur and a uh, palmer chenille and, and a hackle. And a little bit of a dubbing, laser dub there to, to give it that hot spot. Uh, but anyway, I've caught caught a lot of fish on this fly. Uh, I like it because it, it's easy to cast and it sinks really slow. Uh, really good um, fly to use during the winter. And, uh, you know, I, I love uh, using slow sinking flies even in the summer. I use them a lot. Um, but anyway, I've caught bass, uh, crappie, and actually I've caught caught a few catfish on that dude too um in in salt water you know you catch you catch everything in salt water with it uh redfish use it sight cast a redfish and and blind casting for speckled trout caught a lot of trout with that but uh, anyway it's simple uh, to tie quick to tie that's why i like to to uh, use it because it's quick to tie, simple, and catches a lot of good fish. Okay, uh, starting out, I'm using a Gamma Cot 2 uh, B10 Stinger, number two. Okay, I'm going to use this red thread here. I like using the red thread because uh, it <clears throat> kind of gives that uh, red body. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, kind of inside there, you got the red body and the red nose. It's also kind of works a hot spot. I don't know if it really does any good, but it gives me confidence. If it gives me confidence, it's going to do good. Okay, so I typically, the way I do it, might be better ways to do it. Okay, some of this stuff here, tying this fly, but uh, it's just the way I do it. Um, I'll start out with the base, start out from the front, and go all the way back to about that hook point right there and uh, I will get this uh, Sanyo's laser dub here y'all see that okay I'll grab just a little bit of it just a little pinch okay And I'll pull these fibers out like this to get them all the fibers aligned with each other. And I'll turn this hook over, point up, because I want this on the bottom of the fly. And I'll put it on one side, bring it over, and then put it on the other side and wrap it back just a little bit right there. Okay, and then after that, I don't want it to be that long, so I'll just I'll trim it back and leave just a little bit. That's all I want right there. Okay, it's it's just that little bit there that makes it good. If you add a lot, and it'll overwhelm it. You know, sometimes little things like this can make a difference. All right, now what I'm going to use is this uh, craft fur, and I'm using cream color, okay? You can use white, and I've used white. White's really good with, with this combination. Of course, you, you can tie these in, in any color and catch fish and be good, uh, but... <clears throat> 
I'm starting to prefer cream over white, mainly because I think that cream is more of a natural bait fish color. Um, you see bait fish that are more, you know, any kind of white on them is more of a off white than a pure white. But, you know, that's, that's just for me. You know, uh, people catch a lot of fish on um, pure white. But, you know, I, I tie flies to give me confidence. If I have confidence in it, no matter what it is, I'll catch more fish. Anyway, you see that I uh, combed out this under fur on this uh, craft fur. And, uh, yeah, it's got a lot of under fur on that. And you want to comb that out and then just kind of pull any long fibers or loose fibers out. And I'll tie this at about one and a half times the hook shank size back. Okay, and get it started and just cut this excess off right here. And then just wrap it up. Cover it up, okay? Okay, once I do that, uh, I'll get a marker. Okay, this is a Copic marker. Uh, sometimes I'll use um, Sharpies. Sharpies will work. Sometimes Sharpies don't come in the color that I want. And, um, uh, but Copic markers, you can get them at Hobby Lobby. Uh, they come in all kind of colors. But uh, I'll borrow this dude. Just put some bars on it. Looks like shrimp, okay, for saltwater fish and, you know, freshwater fish. I don't know. There's a lot of little bait, barred fish and, and bait fish in freshwater too. Uh, you know, bass, sometimes I don't think bass really, you know, bass are kind of. They, they they act before they think sometimes you know I, you don't have to be so picky with them some of those baits that the uh, 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 conventional guys use look anything look like anything but a bait fish you know and those bass will eat it up anyway what I'm doing now is um, I'm tying in some uh, uh, Palmer Chanel medium size uh, actually this says it's pearl pearl would be good but I'm using tan uh, somehow I got my tan in, my, in a pearl package here for some reason but I'm using tan because it just seems to blend in well with the uh, hackle I'm using okay which is this right here alright I'm using a, a an olive uh, long saddle hackle. Okay. Find one in here that's not, you know, just one of the more medium sized ones. I don't want one of the thick ones because I don't want to build up that head on it. But I don't want one of the little ones either. Alright. Anyway, this one here, it'll it'll work, okay, and I'll just uh, kind of fluff these webs, plumes, whatever you call them. They're not plumes. Plumes are at the bottom. Uh, I had poultry science once. I used to know what this was, but 
had a class in poultry science in college. But uh, anyway, I think y'all know what I'm talking about here. But anyway, I, I flare those out, okay? So that whenever I palmer this on, they'll, they'll stand up a little bit better. Sorry for shadow. Uh, that's one thing I'll have to do is maybe move my light over to this side. This is actually the first time I've done this. Film, a, uh, film myself tying a fly. video myself. They don't call it film anymore because we don't use film. <laughs> it's all digital now. I'll tie that hackle in with the chenille and I'll palmer these together. Kind of fold these back, brush these back so I don't get those fibers trapped in my turns. Okay, I'm getting to the webbing of the fiber. Okay, this really webby stuff here. I think we call that plumes, to be exact. I don't know, I might be wrong from what I remember. It's been a long, long time ago since I had that poultry science class. But, uh, anyway, I'll tie it in right there. up on that thread make it small there and it gives you more control and I'm bad about losing that snip it off there almost lost it but uh, anyway I've got it now Alright, now brush this back. Kind of build up that nose a little bit. I did. It's alright. Didn't get much of it. You know, and even if I did, you know, that, that, I care, but the fish don't. Okay. Um, and I've got some Sally Hansen's hard as nails here that I'll go brush on here nose of this just to hold these threads in okay T normally I'll use um, normally I use a super glue uh, but I don't have any 
but this this will work. This is this is good. Okay, and that's it. I might go try it out later. Thanks for watching.